All right, we're going to actually attempt to refill this toner. So this is the HP toner, giving you the value here, Q6002A, which is, it is the actual toner. And I bought some of these from Inkowl, as well as some other places, to actually remove the toner, dump it out, and uh, put the new toner in. So first of all, Get your handy dandy little device here. Very, very hot, so make sure you're careful what you're doing. And it says in your instructions to puncture a hole. So we put holes in the outlet valve. So we want to actually get rid of the old toner. So we're gonna make some puncture marks like so. First of all, we'll get it like that. Puncture marks here and here to get rid of the old toner. So we'll do that. But we're also going to need something to take out once we get the plastic here. So I'll get a, a knife. Well, let's go ahead and puncture the hole somewhere in here somewhere. Pressing down. Feel that's going through here. Melts the plastic. Okay, we want to get that yucky stuff out. Yes, second hole. Feel it going through there. Gotcha. Now we take all this toner, which is the old toner, and we shake it down. We'll take it and dump it over here somewhere. That's probably good enough. And next, you need to also make an incision or a hole on the top where you refill it so you can empty everything that's inside. So we're gonna make another incision. So we'll actually make another hole here so we can actually dump out the other stuff, because we want to make sure there's no toner at all before we fill it up with this guy. There it goes. And we'll take out that thing. And then we're going to now remove the toner from here, because we want to add all just new toner, not the old one. Okay, so now we've got most of the toner completely out of there. Just clean up our cartridge a little bit here. Make sure you don't put any water in there. Taped up the holes. And now we are going to fill up the cartridge. Now we can fill it up. Now we'll seal the hole. So the package also came with a replacement for this particular chip. So we're gonna pull that chip out and replace it. A little bit of prying. You get it out.
There we go. And we can hot glue a little bit in place there. So make sure that that stays. We can hot glue it in a little bit. A little dab of hot glue. All right, should be good as new. Let's go install it. So this was the original. Basically had like zero remaining after the install. Look at that. We've got now like 2,000 pages.